Hi, I wanted to put together this uh, little demo to uh, show how to put together this foxhole radio detector, the Gillette Blue Blade. There's a method to my madness. The reason I put this together is I sell these on eBay and on my website. Now the first thing you want to do is take your, uh, figure out where you want to put your coil and your connections for your coil and your connections for your your headphone and everything and then say to yourself figure out okay I'd like to put the the detector about there now you take yourself a, a marking pin Hold the razor blade carefully to where it's still straight and then take your marking pin right in the little in the round triangular shaped hole where the blade goes. You put a mark. Then you take yourself a 332nd drill and a hand drill and drill these holes out. These uh, holes will make the make it easy to install the screw. Okay. Now take your razor blade and put it right over the holes that you just made. Take one screw and one washer and uh, put the screw and the washer in most, put the screw in most of the way, but don't put it in all the way to where you have room to put your wire underneath the washer. We're just getting it in there in place, like that and take your other screw with no washer get it started with your fingers it's easy because you've drilled that 3 32nd inch hole I'll take this screw and put it in to where the blade won't move but don't put it too tight Okay, the blade is not moving. All right, now take your pin and uh, sort of bend it to where the pin puts, the lead puts just a little bit of pressure on the blade and you have the lead right over the letters. It seems that the, it detects better when it's sitting over the letters. Get it all lined up to where it looks nice and then get your pin, your marking pin ready and make, make a mark. Then take and drill that hole with the 30 to the second drill. Then take your screw and your washer, put it through the eye of the pin, set it over the hole. Oh, I'm good, aren't I? Yeah, I'm great. And I'm taking the, set it over the hole, and then this time carefully get it started. Now don't screw this one in all the way either because you want room to be able to put your wire underneath there. Okay, say so this is the uh, this is the wire. Take your wire and kind of round it, round it a little bit like that to where it will go around the uh, screw and under the washer. This will be the one that will be going over to the headphone, headphone side and you kind of get that washer up there like that and get your wire wrapped around underneath 
and then tighten it up with the pin setting over the lettering. There we are, and it's pr providing just a little bit of pressure on the razor blade. Not too much, just the right amount. And take and uh, use yourself a screwdriver or something, kind of uh, raise the, 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 the washer up to where you can get the wire underneath. Sometimes this is a, this is a fun trick. Ah, we got it underneath there. Good. Okay. Now, this will be the one going to the coil and antenna on this side. Okay. There you have it. And you can move this around a little bit. It doesn't have to move a lot. You can bend the pin just a little bit by pushing it that way to move it over to the next letter. That's all you need in order to detect. It's not going to detect any better by having it to where you can move this pin all over. As long as you can touch a couple of the letters, it will work wonderfully. Now there you have it, the Cornell razor blade detector.